Hey, how you doing? I'm over here at the house. I'm sorry about the bad lighting, guys, but it's early and the sun is still pretty low. It's not super early. It's about 8.30 and we're shooting down at Chicopee Mass this weekend. But I figured, what the hell, I might as well shoot over to Brattleboro and see if I can't find a few gems. I actually thought that the Enfield, Connecticut citywide sale was this weekend but there was some kind of error in the master list on the New England tag sale group I couldn't find any information on it so I ended up uh, digging around a little bit on Facebook and I found that particular group the Enfield tag sale group and I got a hold of an administrator and they said there is no sale tomorrow so I had to go to the administrator in the New England tag sale group and have them delete that and tell everybody there's don't go out there there's no sale I have no idea what this day is going to be like, but hopefully I'll do well. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm over here at Kevin's Tax Sale, uh, Estate Sale Tax Sale. Uh, guess who I found over here? My buddy oh, Tom. Guys. Tom's been busy working, so we haven't had a chance to hang out, but that's going to change soon, right, buddy? He's gonna eventually going to be done. He's a, a stone man, so this is the time of year where he makes all that money. I just picked up a bunch of crap over here. I'm going to show this stuff to you guys later, but it's a bunch of old CB equipment and uh, empty pistol cases and check this out Tom's gonna have to take control of this for me because I can't carry this in the mass but great big old box of shotgun shells and that's gonna come in handy one day anyway guys I'm gonna load this stuff up and I gotta get to that sale in Munson and we'll talk to you in a bit hey what's up guys it's 2 p.m. and I'm over here in Munson and I am beat down Right now, I'm actually at the last garage sale that I plan on going to today. And uh, there's like some kind of multi-family garage sale here. I don't expect I'm gonna find anything, but I don't know, the curiosity is just getting the better of me. I've already filled my van up, guys. I have no more room back here, and the front seat is also filled, so if I don't get anything, it would be fine. Honestly, I really don't even wanna get out of the van. But I'm already here, so wish me luck hey what's happening guys I'm coming to you live from my uncle Mike's house and I'm just kind of sitting out here at the pool we had a little bit of a Labor Day party yesterday it was a good time we had hot dogs and hamburgers it's pretty early for me right now it's about 8 o'clock I'm trying to work up the energy because I saw in the paper that there are some local sales happening today I wasn't even in the area yesterday I was out in Munson which is about 20 miles from here when I left you guys last I was filming at that big garage sale it was supposed to be the last sale of the day I ended up just not even getting out of the van and leaving my legs were beat down and they were saying please don't make us go to this sale you know guys I didn't want to so I just left I actually found a bunch of stuff yesterday I think I spent like 200 bucks, which is very rare for me. I don't usually spend that kind of money, but I was popping out some good stuff and I had to kind of pay up for it a little bit. I decided that I'm just gonna wait till I get home to show you guys what I found. I had to end up putting a lot of stuff in my dad's trunk because there was a lot of bulky, heavy items and I actually sleep in my van whenever I come up here. And we're gonna be you no know, sleeping in the van with all that stuff in there. So it'll just be a lot easier to show you guys what I found when I get home. Hey, what's happening, folks? I hope you guys are doing well. It's late Tuesday afternoon, and I just unloaded the van, and I wanted to show you guys what I found this weekend. I actually started out reasonably early Saturday morning. I wanted to get over to Kevin's place by 9. That's what time they open on Saturdays. I wanted to make sure I had first picks and everything, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to be the first one in line. When I took the Putney, Vermont exit to get off to go to Brattleboro, I noticed that there was a lady having a pretty good sized garage sale and I wanted to check it out. She actually had some pretty decent stuff over there and I probably could have bought more, but I'm being a little bit more selective on what I'm buying because I'm starting to run out of space. She had this food processor for sale. There was a sticker on it for 10 bucks. I asked her if she would go to five bucks, but she didn't want to budge on the price, so I ended up paying the full ten dollars. This is actually going to be the part that I toss. These are the parts that I was actually interested in. They do show some moderate signs of wear and tear, but I think they'll do okay. I think I saw the bowl was selling for about twenty-five, and the lid and pusher were also selling for about twenty-five. She also had this pair of lights. It's for a Schwinn bike. 
these don't sell for a whole lot. I asked her how much she wanted, and she said two bucks. I should be able to sell them for about ten. I also ended up getting this Oneida mandolin slicer. I paid two dollars for it. I thought it sold for more money, but apparently they just don't sell for a whole lot, so it might have been a mistake, but I still think there's potential for a little bit of money on it. She also had this Panasonic camcorder. It has the charger included. It also has a battery, but I don't know if it's any good or not. I'm going to have to charge it up and see. I don't know if it works or not. I asked her if it did, and she wasn't sure. I asked her how much she wanted for it, and she told me five bucks. So I figured I'd give it a shot. It looks like they sell for okay money if they work, so we'll just have to see. She also had this item on the table. It's a Cobra GPS slash radar detector. I didn't even look it up. I just picked it up and asked her how much she wanted. She told me she wanted two dollars. It has the power cable included. I had no idea how much these sold for until recently when I looked it up. It looks like they're going for pretty good money. So I should do okay on this. I also forgot to mention that that food processor came with a little bag of parts and there's these two shredding blades and a dough blade and hopefully these should help offset the cost of the item. So after I left that yard sale I went ahead and shot over to Kevin's garage sale and I was probably about 15 or 20 minutes late so I thought that might have been it and I wasn't going to find anything else but I ended up seeing some really nice CB equipment lying on the table. Back in the 90s, I used to be really big into CB equipment, so I have a little bit of experience with it. So when I saw this stuff lying on the table, I knew I had to have it. This is the one of the items that was on the table. It's a Robin CB base station. When I was doing CB stuff, I never had one that was quite this vintage. I'm not sure if it works or not. I'm actually going to have to plug it up to a CB antenna and find out. I checked the sold comps, and it looks like these are doing pretty well. Even if it doesn't work, I should be able to get something for it. This is the factory mic that it came with, and when I sell the CB, I'm also going to include this. This item right here, I believe, is an SWR meter. It's made by GC Electronics. I couldn't find the exact one on eBay, but it looks like they sell for between $15 and $100. There was also this Redco RFC50. It's some kind of digital meter. This is a little more advanced than the kind of stuff I used to do. I just like to talk on the radio and say hi to people. Most likely I'm going to have to sell it as is or for parts only because I just don't know enough about it. But when I looked it up, it looked like they were selling for decent money. He also had a couple of these selector switch boxes. I think these are for antenna placement if I'm not mistaken. See it says vert and horse on it. So these may be for selecting different antennas. Whoever had this stuff was definitely really big in the CB game. These guys right here are really nice mics. I used to have this mic with my Midland CB radio back in the day. These are called Aesthetic D104 Silver Eagles. And these used to be somewhat top of the line back in the day. They're definitely vintage, made in the USA, and this is high quality stuff. Somebody stole my CB probably about 20 years ago. So if nobody bought this stuff, I'd be happy to have it. And the last thing that I saw next to all this CB equipment was this heat kit. It's an exhaust gas analyzer. It's model CI-1080. I actually have no idea what this does. I think you might hook it up to your exhaust in your vehicle maybe. But it looked like they were selling for decent money. So hopefully I'll do okay. My friend Tom actually helped me carry all that stuff up there. And when I put it on the table and asked Kevin how much he wanted, he said, how about 50 bucks for it all? And I was like, you've got it. And then I walked around his sale for a little while longer, and I found these guys right here. And these are just empty gun cases. I believe all of them are for Ruger. They're all made in the USA, and some of them also have cleaning kits as well. I asked Kevin how much he wanted for those, and he said, just give me a buck a piece for them. So I ended up buying all nine, and when I looked them up on eBay, it looked like they were selling for about $14 or so plus shipping. So I think I should do okay on those. And the last thing I found over there was that milk crate that was about half full of shotgun shells. A lot of the shotgun shells looked older, but it looked like they were in good usable condition. It looked like there was also some newer shells as well. I paid him 25 bucks for that, and I'll probably end up using those for myself. Fortunately, Tom was around to hold on to those for me. I was going down to Mass this weekend, and if you're in Massachusetts, you have to have an FID card to have ammo. And since I'm not a Mass resident, I don't have an FID card. So I went ahead and uh, let him hold on to them so I didn't get myself in any kind of trouble. So that's pretty much all I found over at Kevin's sale on Saturday. 
After I got done hanging out with Tom for a little while, I ended up getting on the road and shooting down to Mass. The plan was to go check out the Munson Mass Citywide Yard Sale. The sale was probably about 80 or 90 miles away from Kevin's place, so I knew when I got there it was going to be kind of late in the day. But when I finally got in the neighborhood, I saw a couple signs that said church yard sale. So I wanted to check that out. So I went ahead and parked, walked in and checked it out. And they did have quite a bit of stuff there. But I found out it's not really a yard sale. It's more like a thrift shop that they open a couple days a week. I guess they just call it a garage sale. There wasn't a whole lot of stuff there, but the ladies were really nice. And I ended up finding a couple deals. So let me show you guys what I found. They had this item right here, and this is an accessory kit for a KitchenAid food processor. It's got some blades down there. There's a work bowl, and these are all just parts that I can sell by themselves on eBay. It even came with the manual, and there's a possibility that even this has a little bit of value. But this is going to be a big help because it's going to tell me which model this is for. And in the past, I've even sold this empty case before for about 15 or 20 plus shipping. And she charged me three bucks for that. There was also this industrial warring blender there. It's in pretty rough shape. She had 10 bucks on it, and I wasn't actually going to get it. When I was leaving, I told the lady, I sure do love that juicer, and if it was five bucks, I'd buy it right now. And she said, well, guess what? It's five bucks. So I ended up grabbing that, and it looks like they sell for about 40 bucks, maybe. She also had a few lighters on the table. This one's a Pal Mal lighter with pouch. It looks like it even has the instructions with it. She also had a similar one, but this is a Carlton. It also has the instructions. And she had this lighter right here. I'm not sure what that symbol is, but it was a dollar, so I figured I'd go ahead and jump on it. And the last thing I found at that sale was this six second ab machine. I recently sold one of these that was brand new in the box. I ended up selling it for a best offer of 40. I don't think this will get 40 bucks, but it should get 25. And I paid two bucks for that. So after I hit that church yard sale, I ended up going to Munson, and they had a lot of garage sales. Unfortunately, by the time I got there, it was after 12, and they really didn't have much going on. I think what happened was it got picked over by the other resellers, so there wasn't much left for Big Josh. Although I did find an item here and an item there, so let me show you guys what I actually did find. At one sale, I found this Pure Pro thermostat. They had 10 bucks on it, but I asked him if they would take five, and he said yes. A lot of times, if you're going to garage sales at like noon or one o'clock, don't be afraid to ask for a good discount. Chances are, if that stuff's been sitting around for four, five, six hours, it probably won't sell unless they knock the price down and give you a good deal. At one sale, I found a Ronco 3000. I don't like picking these up anymore. They don't really sell well for me but it did have a lot of the parts. I saw some gloves there. I usually sell those for about 10 to $15. It has the wheels. I'll sell the legs. It had the little gray plastic thing that I always get like 10 bucks for, and I'll probably get about $20, $25 for the wheels. I'm not gonna try to sell the glass or anything like that. They just don't sell for me. She had a $5 sticker on the machine, and I made it up in my mind that I was going to ask her if she'd take three. And if she said no, then I was going to walk away and never look at it again. So I went up and asked her if she was negotiable on any of the prices, and she said yes. I asked her if she would take three. She said yes. So then I decided that it was just meant to be. So I went ahead and grabbed it. About five or six houses down from where I got that rotisserie, I noticed they were having like a big estate sale. So I just went over there and wanted to see what they had. And when I got there, I noticed there was kind of a lot of stuff. So I walked over to the kitchen items. Now all this stuff was outside, so it looked like it was in pretty rough shape. But I did see a few items that I wanted. And I asked the guy, I said, hey, how much is all this stuff? He said, you know what? Anything over here is a dollar a piece. So when he said that, I knew I was going to definitely be buying some items. And one of the items that I was interested in was this American Harvest Jetstream oven. I've sold these types of things in the past for pretty good money. I've never sold this exact model, but for a dollar, I figured I'd give it a shot. He also had these three boxes that I got for a dollar a piece. And it looks like they're expander rings for that Jetstream oven. I'm not sure why they had three of them, and I'm not sure if they're complete, so I'm going to have to have a closer look. But when I looked them up on eBay, it looked like they were doing okay. There was also this Pampered Chef pineapple slicer. I thought it was brand new, but it looks like it's been opened. It still comes with the paperwork. I paid a dollar for it. I thought they actually sold for more money. They really don't. They don't do very well. 
but I should be able to at least make my money back. I looked in one of the boxes of kitchen items and I saw some miscellaneous food processor accessories. I didn't see the food processor anywhere. I really didn't want to pay a dollar a piece for him. So I asked him if he would sell me the accessories for like two bucks. And he said sure. The first part was this little dough blade. And there was this big S blade. It looked like there was a big slicing blade. And there was this pack right here. And I'm not sure if these actually go with those. They may. I'm going to have to do some research. I've actually sold a lot of food processor items over the years. And I'm pretty sure I know what that stuff goes to. I think the machine that this stuff goes to is called a Sunbeam Le Chef. If that is, in fact, what it does go for, these parts should do okay. That's a pretty sought-after machine. But I figured for two bucks, it would probably be a pretty safe gamble. I went to this one sale and there was these five Barbie CDs. I paid a little more than I wanted for these, but I looked one of them up on eBay and it looked like they were selling for like eight or nine dollars a piece. And there are five different ones, so I'm thinking I could probably lot them together and maybe I can get 30 bucks plus shipping. I was kind of feeling the pinch at this Munson Townwide because there just wasn't a whole lot to buy and I just wanted to buy something good. At one sale, I found this 32 ounce Nutra Ninja container. They had this on the $1 table, and I believe I could probably get maybe $15 to $18 for it if I'm lucky. And I believe that's all that I found over at that Munson Citywide. So, as you can see, it was a bit lacking. But like I said earlier, it was my fault because I didn't get there early enough. So, I'm sure it got picked over pretty hard before I got there. That was pretty much supposed to be the last sale of the day. I was tired and I just wanted to go shoot over to my uncle's house and hit that pool. So when I pulled into the city where my uncle lives, I noticed there was a garage sale across the street from where he lives, so I had to check it out. Now I gotta tell you, the man that was running this sale was a very nice guy, and he ended up selling me all of this stuff for $25. So let me show you guys what I got. I got this game called Cards Against Humanity. It's used, but I think it still sells for a few bucks. He actually wanted $5 for this, but he gave me a bunch of other free stuff, so I figured I'd just do it to be nice. When I first walked up, I saw this and asked him how much it was. He said, if you like it, take it. And all it is is an AM FM radio. It looks a lot like a Sony sports radio, but it's not. It's made by Lennox Sound. I initially looked it up and didn't see any kind of soul comp on this, but I didn't have to. I know that this will sell. Lennox is a really good name, and this kind of stuff is hot. He also gave me this box. It's an easy seat. When I looked it up on eBay, it looked like this was selling for about $15 to $20. He gave me this vintage glove. I didn't see any comps on it, so I'm going to have to do a little more research. These things are super cool right here. I asked him how much he wanted for them. He ended up selling me these for 10 bucks. I saw that the comps were kind of all over the place, but it looked like they were doing better than 10, so I felt pretty comfortable with that. And the last thing that I bought over there were these female Shimano shoes. They have a little notch there on the bottom for bicycle pedals. They came with these Shimano pedals as well. I told him I really liked the shoes, but he wanted $20 for them. I said, unfortunately, I just can't get them. I said, I really like them, and I think somebody might buy them, but I just can't pay 20 bucks for them. So he asked me, well, how much would you pay for them? And I told him, I could probably give you 10 bucks for them. So he ended up saying, hey, you can have them for 10 bucks. So that's why I ended up giving him 25 for everything. Also, my uncle, he knows I sell on eBay, and he's given me things in the past to sell. He gave me this little stopwatch. It doesn't sell for very much money, but it's the thought that counts, and I should be able to make a few bucks. And he also gave me this box right here. I think it's like a flagpole top. I'm not sure how much they sell for, but I guess he didn't need it anymore, so he just let me have it. So that's all the stuff that I found this weekend. I was going to go garage sale on Sunday, but never made it. I ended up going to the dump today, and I found a few items. Let me show you guys what I found over there today, too. I found that large DeWalt case, and it looks like they sell for about 20 bucks. I found this Pondmaster 190 today. I think it's some kind of pond filter. Not really sure exactly how much it's worth. But I'll find out and throw the comps up on top for you guys. I also found this guy over there today. I probably didn't need to pick this up and probably shouldn't have, but I did. It's called a Torso Track 2. It looks like they sell for pretty good money, so hopefully I can make a few bucks on this as well. And the last thing I found over there today was this HP 38G calculator. 
It looks like they sell for about $35 free shipping. This one right here is some type of 75th anniversary model. I didn't see any like this on eBay, and I have to make sure it's not some kind of rare calculator. I'm going to probably have to hit Terapeak and see if any have sold for more. I just don't want to sell it for $35 if it's worth like $400. Alright guys, that's pretty much all that I have to show you for this weekend. I've got to find a way to put this stuff somewhere. It's going to be a challenge, but I'll do it. Anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, or you just want to let me know how you think I did this weekend, let me know below, and we'll see you guys next time. Have a great night.